most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Design. And we got some thunderstorms out there uh, this evening, mainly southeast Georgia, Waycross and uh, Alma. We're looking at you. This line pretty strong, pretty loud as well. Uh, you're hearing that thunder up there, aren't you? Uh, Waycross right on the edge of Glen County, too. You're probably seeing and uh, hearing maybe a little bit of thunder rattling as you're trying to uh, hit the sack tonight. Um, these showers and storms slowly drifting, uh, coming out of uh, going to be coming out of Alma, coming down towards Waycross here. So another line over the next hour, hour and a half or so um, that we'll watch move through. So a couple of showers and thunderstorms, nothing severe. I'm going to be here all night. I'll be watching very carefully, but nothing severe for you. Satellite radar and uh, you see those thunderstorms in southeast Georgia. Get out and uh, look out deep into the Atlantic and there is Lee. Uh, Lee, a very, very impressive storm. Even um, Josh just looking at it on the satellite picture right now. A category five storm, 160 mile an hour sustained winds uh, with that with 200 mile near 200 mile an hour gusts. The, the devastation. Yeah, I don't know if we can truly wrap our minds around a 200 mile an hour uh, gust. This storm, though, confidence continues to grow that this storm is going to continue its curve. You've got uh, Lee here, the forecast cone uh, going out, not uh, quite showing that recurve to the north yet, though there is a gr great deal of confidence. And then behind it, Margo, and Margo is certainly uh, going to remain something that mixes up the fish. So the front and Lee, the front is what we need and the front we have it. So uh, front's going to usher in some thunderstorms for us as we go through our weekend, maybe a couple of change in temperatures. But here is one computer model look and I'm not picking and choosing the computer models I like. I'm picking the ones that ha we have uh, consistently been the best performing uh, the GFS and the European models. Uh, this model here is showing precipital water in the atmosphere, and we can go long range with this further out. So we're going to next Thursday. We're going for a week from tonight, the front helping push this storm out up and towards maybe the Canadian Maritimes, uh, Maine, portions of New England need to be thinking about this as we get towards the end of next week but really uh, would be a weakening system as it makes its way further north. We're going to hover between a Category 5 storm and a Category 4 storm. So two things I want you to look at here was we focus in on Lee. The blue lines represent the GFS computer model. The yellow lines represent the European model here. So focusing in on Lee as we put it into motion, very consistent. GFS and Euro right on top of each other. So uh, this showing the isobars, the lines of equal pressure here with the storm, both right on top of each other as we go through Monday. Consistency and confidence, currently at least, with both the European and the GFS, that the front over the eastern United States is going to help push this storm. So we'll start to see by Wednesday the turn. Now, what happens after the turn? Uh, European model in yellow favors maybe something on the uh, eastern seaboard, GFS out to sea. That's something we'll watch very carefully. Our local impacts are going to be uh, big surf, rip currents, um, as we go out towards our beaches. So